What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. Just want to do another quick video on subwoofer compression. So, basically, when you get your subs, you know, gain matched and level matched, then you want to do some readings and see how loud you can play your your volume on your receiver or processor until you start seeing compression on the subs. Okay. So this bottom red line. That's going to be at negative 21 volume, right, on the receiver. Cool. And then the green line here is negative 15. All right, looking good. And then the blue line is at negative 10. All right, maybe a little bit, right? A little bit of compression. From here to here, I see a little bit right here, a little bit. Now, when I go to negative 7 on the receiver, oh, no. There's the compression, right? Boom. All right, so basically what you want to do now is if, you know, for me, reference is zero, zero, right? Zero, zero on the processor receiver, that's reference. That's that's at uh, 75, right? So now what I do is I, I reduce the sub volume out of the receiver or processor down a few matches, right? So it, say it was at my sub out was zero here. The subwoofer volume was zero on my receiver here and here and here. But now when I back down the receiver output to like, say, negative... Uh, you know, five or six, then you redo the, you redo the test. Okay. So I'm going to turn all these off now. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on boom. So now here I reduced the volume of the sub out to negative five, right? So it was at zero. Now I dropped it to negative five. Okay. So now I reran the test negative 20 on the receiver. Okay. That's what I get there. And then I went to negative 15. Cool. Then I went to negative 10. Cool. Then I went up to negative 5. Cool. And now I went to, to reference. Boom. Awesome. Right? So consistently we have the same quality. Maybe a little bit, right? A little bit. But normally they're pretty, pretty good. There's no major compression going on. So that means I'm, I'm, I'm safe. If I want to go to reference, 0, 0 on my receiver... I'm not compressing my sub, so I have a little more headroom. So that's really good. Now, if you want, you can maybe you know raise your sub out a little bit more. So if you want to go negative four or negative three on the sub out and do this test again, you can see where you're going to get that compression going. So that way it's safe, it's safe to say how loud you can set your volume and not worry about compressing your subs. So that's a really cool feature about the UMic one and REW. So just a pointer out there, guys, to, to set your compression. And make sure your subs are performing their best no matter what volume you're sit, you're turning up your receiver or processor at. That's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Home theater rules. Wrath out. See you guys.